here in DaVinci Resolve, we have this really cool option called Sound Library right up here in the edit page. So for example, I can just type in, let's just say drums, and that's going to search through my file system for the folders that I have linked. And then I can just come in here and say, select something, listen to it. If I like it, go ahead and drag it right into my project. But you have to set this up first. So we're gonna do that right now. Let me clear this out and let's go ahead and set it up if you haven't uh, done this yet. So head down here to the house icon. What you wanna do is create a new database called Sound Effects. Now I already have one uh, created, but if you don't, just click new database, go to create, type will be disk, name, go ahead and name it Sound Effects. All right, Sound Effects, all one word. And then for location, just click here and you can navigate uh, wherever you want. I have mine placed on my E drive right here. Uh, you can put it on your C drive. You can put it anywhere you want. I just have mine right there. So after you select the uh, folder or the location that you want, go ahead and click create. I'm not going to because I already have mine created. All right, so I'm gonna cancel out of this, but you're going to go ahead and click create. After you create it, go ahead and close down DaVinci Resolve and then open it back up. After DaVinci Resolve opens up, go ahead and head back to your local database and open up a project that you already have or go ahead and create a new one. We already have one open here, so I'll just close out of this. And now we can come over to our sound library, but before we can use it, we need to actually link some content. If you haven't linked anything yet, you'll have an add button down here, but if you have, you'll have an add button right up here. But before we choose that, make sure you hit this little disclosure triangle and choose your sound effects database, all right? Now we'll come up here, in my case, and choose Add Library. I'll just navigate to the folder I want to add. And for me, it's this folder right here because I have a lot of whooshes uh, that I use all of the time. And let me uh, cancel out of this for now. So instead of having to actually open up my folder here and come into the file system and then find uh, a cinematic hit and drag it into my bin, instead of doing that, I can just search through everything in my sound library. So much, much faster, much easier to do. So again, sound effects is selected right here for my database. Come back to add, navigate to my folder. I'll just select the master folder there, select that folder, and I want to go ahead and link that and let it scan. And now we are done, so I'll just click OK. Now down here in our timeline, you can see I have a slide transition in here. Now it doesn't make much sense for this content, but it might be cool to have a sort of a swoosh sound in there. And usually I'll grab one of my effects from my file system, I'll grab it and then throw it in. But now that we have our sound library, I can just of course navigate to it, make sure I'm searching through our sound effects database. And I can just type in, I know what it's called, it's called flash, just type that in. And it's 13, I think. That's the one I want. Awesome, grab it, throw it right in. And let me zoom in a bit, position it correctly here. Pretty close. Obviously it's too loud, so I'll just uh, turn it down there with our clip gain. All right, pretty cool. So it's just that easy there with your sound library here in DaVinci Resolve. Save yourself from having to head to your file system every time you want an effect that you're using over and over and over again. Just go ahead and add that folder right to your sound library. Search for whatever you want. If I want something that's uh, cinematic, I can just start typing in and maybe grab a hit. Or, you know, whatever you want. And of course, whenever we pull something in here, it will then be uh, in our media pool. Okay, so we can grab it right here later on if we need it. All right, so that is our sound library here in DaVinci Resolve.